so hello guys i do hope that you are doing great uh, i am back to the video and today we'll be discussing about the newton's law of gravitation right so this is very you know popular law and we do have been known about it in our previous classes as well so we'll be looking into it and uh, actually looking into the concept behind it and how is this law working so basically as the name determines this is a kind of a law that was determined by the newton the isaac newton and let me give you some bit more information about it so so actually the law is also called also wait a minute also called fourth law of gravitation right this law the newton's uh, newton's law of gravitation is also called the fourth law of gravitation this is quite of a good mcu that can come looking forward this law was introduced by sir isaac newton uh, isaac newton ignore the name mistake if it is otherwise give me a thumbs up so it was given by sir isaac newton and what was the year what was the e year was 1666 uh, it was given into the mid of the 16th century we can say and uh, when the age of sir isaac newton was around 24 years right so this are the quite of a simple mcq relating to it and moving forward so first of all newton's uh, we have got an statement that newton's deduced uh, you know derived the law of of the this law mathematically from the telfer third law of planetary motion okay so what does this mean let me tell you a thing that uh, you know how this newton did all this actually newton's law of gravitation what does this law tells this law tells what is the amount of the force for suppose let me draw uh, this is uh, object a okay this is object a and this is object b right so as is as we have seen in the very starting of the chapter that what is gravitation gravitation is a force of attraction and everybody the, even though newton has also given this i will be looking into the statement that's point also would be coming over there so there would be a force of attraction between these both objects and newton provided a law uh, equation that told that what is this force and what is the amount of this force uh, with this equation so this is how it's working and uh, you know from how did the equation was being derived so he took help from the uh, equation driving help took from kelfer kelfer third law of law of planetary planetary motion right so kelfer was basically a, a scientist right so even though in very starting of the book in the introduction to physics uh, we have saw, saw the scientists who are working in the field of you uh, know they have did contribution so kelfer was a scientist i do think that he was the uh, uh maybe i am not confirmed but that uh, the kelfer is you know the co temporary of galileo and he he did provided the, the laws that were relating to the planetary motion so what did newton did was that he took help from this kelfer uh, third law of uh, gravitation that was equal to uh r cube i'm not supposed to write cube i don't know how to write Uh, I would be writing it as cube, r cube, and that would be divided by. I'm writing this r cube divided by t, and here would be square. I do hope that you are good with mathematics, and you can see this. That would be something looking into 
let me draw it over here so making guys more clear so that would be equal to r cube r cube divided by t square so newton did took help from this law and he just derived the newton's uh, law of gravitation so here was also a help and we have studied this thing in our very basic topics i do hope that you remember that moving forward what we have next is the statement so statement is very simple uh, this statement statement is every body in the universe in the universe attracts other body with a force with a force directly proportional directly proportional to the product of masses and inversely proportional to square of distance between them so let me uh, tell you the meaning of the statement which i ever have written so what does this mean so this means that everybody you know every body in the universe whatever the body is everybody in the universe everybody in the universe attracts other body for suppose i have written in over here body 1 and body 2 these are the two bodies so we have taken two bodies as a statement says every body in the universe attracts other body with a force okay so there is attraction between them so you know they are attraction having attraction between them let me draw a line there is attraction between them this is being attracted over here and this is being attracted over here this body is in here and this is here so there is attraction between them with a force directly proportional to the masses product of the masses for suppose we can write here uh, that would be 1 uh, and 2 okay so that would be directly proportional to the product of the masses so that there is a force of attraction between them in the every body whatever body you take in the universe not even on the earth even in the whole universe the whole solar system and the sort of stuff so there would be having a attraction force between them so that would be equal to the product of the masses 1 and 2 that we have written over here and that would be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that would be denoting distance from r so that would be, uh, you know inversely proportional to the distance between them uh, this means that uh, as the mass increases the force as it is directly proportional as mass increases the force also uh, you know the force mass increases force increases as they are both directly proportional like and if the square of the distance between them did increase square of the distance between them increase the force among them would decrease so isn't it so simple we'll be taking problems of it that would be making you more clear so what this was a statement and we'll be looking into uh, you know describe this statement mathematically So mathematically, would that would be written as uh, F 
f is directly proportional to okay so f would be directly proportional to m1 m2 okay let me write it first then i'll be looking back into you m1 m2 f 1 over r square and here we have got okay so let me draw it f is directly proportional to m1 and m2 f is inversely proportional to the square of distance between them as the statement says everybody in the universe attacks with each other with the force directly proportional to the product of masses between them we have done the product inverse proportional square of distance between them we have just wrote the same statement uh, you know mathematically so what we can do is that we can write both things all together and how will we looking into that like f is directly proportional to m1 and m2 m1 and this m1 and m2 is just an example we can say m a and m b as well and whatever the masses are we will be looking into their masses and putting into this formula and we're looking into problems which will be making you more clear about it so uh, that would be r square would be coming here so i have did a mistake here you have to always remember this r should be small r you cannot write the capital r that would be something else then so you need to you know use the small uh, stuff uh, over here so we can we have just wrote that this both into a single thing and now here as you all know that whenever we have to uh, you know uh, whenever you have to remove this proportional sign we have to need to add a constant and what would the constant over here? let me write it over here so that would be equal to g m1 g would be capital here because it is in constant m1 m2 upon r square okay so f is equal to g m1 m2 upon r square that is the the, the formula the equation which we have is given and that is the formula which can prove the attraction force between any two object in the universe simply we have to put this formula and we will be finding that so you will be thinking that why what shall we write into these places so let me tell you that okay so let me tell you that g g is equal to 6.67 into 10 minus 11 okay 10 power minus 11 okay so you have to uh, again i have to use the i uh, you know we can never try the all symbols on my keyboard so you can say that the g is equal to 6.67 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 and you will be thinking how this uh, thing has came so this is the value of v that, that is you know a constant and how is this value has came from so this value or we can say g value was calculated by cavendish so you will be saying how is it so this is not you know what we are studying that is a whole different thing that how he has calculated this but you know uh, just we need to put the value of g till now in the level which we are and the topic we are studying so we just have known about the value of g and uh, if we talk about the other values so you know f we are finding g is uh, the 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 m1 and m2 are the masses of the both uh, you know the mass which we have and r square is the distance between them which we can also calculate so this is uh, you know how simple it is so for this i would like to uh, solve a problem for you guys so that it may get more clear than how we are you know looking into the force finding the force between this so 
the question is find gravitational attraction between the college students students college students of masses 80 kg and 50 kg okay so 2 meter apart from each other what is the force find given okay this is something we have to solve and we'll be looking into uh, the solution of it <coughs> so solution first we looking into the data we have given that m1 is equal to 80 kg m2 is equal to 50 kg right we have given two masses 80 kg and 50 kg that would be m1 and m2 and r square so what will the value of r r is equal to 2 we will be looking into square of 2 into further of solving into solving it so let me solve it for you so this is the you know we have known the value of g and we have known the m1 and m2 we just can find putting these values into the formula which in which we have you know uh, found so solution solution so f is equal to m1 g m1 g m1 m2 upon r square okay so as we have data we are given we will be putting the formulas so it would be equal to 6.67 into 10 ki power minus 11 okay so into m1 and m2 what is m1 and m2 that is 50 into 80 80 and what is r square then will be coming into 2 ka square so if you solve it all multiplying 18 into 50 and to 2 square and then doing this you will be looking the answer that would be equal to uh, 6.67 6.67 into 10 to the power 8 10 power 8 newton that is the formula and the homework for you guys is to uh, the homework for you guys to look into whole this calculation and solve and get this answer even though your answer can be a point having a point difference but it should come very close to it so i do hope that you have got how we are doing formula what are the, what was the history behind it and all this uh, so let's meet into another video thank you for watching